We have some tea. I, I, I saw Jeremy put in here saying that the tea is piping hot. Oh, yes, because last week, <laughs> last week I complained about cold tea. So they're not playing. Oh, yeah. They were, the I butler think... was very insulted last week. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got Offended. a I got a memo from the butler the next day. Oh. He said he said to me he works very hard on his tea. Oh, I see the steam coming out. He said to me he works very hard on his tea. <laughs> what and kind that of and that if I have a problem with his tea <laughs> then do you do something about I, it yourself. I, I should I should probably have a private meeting with him. I thought oh. long, long hard about that. <laughs> What kind is this? What kind of tea is this, Butler? Oh, what kind of tea is it? <laughs> Butler doesn't know what he's serving today. <laughs> oh, chamomile, honey, vanilla. Oh, chamomile, honey, vanilla. Oh, this is. I want you to know something. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. This is really good. Jill's dancing. She loves. Yeah. She loves when she gives us good tea. <laughs> Her tea is always good. This is very good tea. Ooh. This very, might wake me up. Mm. Oh. This tea is so hot, it's steaming up my glasses, yo yo. Yeah, mine I too. can't even see. I need a, I need a napkin. I, I, I need those I little need. glasses windshield. <laughs> you know, you know, like Urkel? Yeah, yeah. What do you have to say? Yeah. I always wanted those for my glasses, like when it rains. Oh man. Oh man, this I'm, is I'm, so I'm, good. I'm really dating myself when I'm talking about Urkel. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, that make, that makes me feel bad. I'm old. Uh, I mean, I remember when it came on. Yeah. Too. All right, let's see where our tea is here. Throw that over there. What do we got for tea, yo yo? Hmm. Uh actor Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. McConaughey, McConaughey. <laughs> tomato, McConaughey. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Makata Ho? Yeah. It's not Hump Day, yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> he grew up in the Texas town of Uvalde. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's where the shooting was. Yeah. And he actually, by the way, you know what I read today about the shooting? Hmm. The grandmother who the shooter shot, she worked as a teacher's aide in the Robb Elementary School. Wow. So maybe that's why he, he went, went there. He had a thing against his grandmother because yeah. he first shot the grandmother. Last I heard, she's still alive. Maybe she, I don't know if she died over the weekend. Yeah, I didn't I don't see. Know. I don't know. But I, she's still alive. She's still alive, according to Jilly. But the grandmother worked in the school. Mm, mm, mm. Horrible. Meanwhile, Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey, what's his name? <laughs> McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. You don't know him? I, of course I know him, but I always call him McConaughey because it's my New York accent. Mm. And, it, you know, in mm. Texas, it's McConaughey. <laughs> in a tweet early Wednesday, he, the Oscar winner, wrote, The true call to action now is for every American to take a longer and deeper look in the mirror and ask ourselves, what is it that we truly value? How do we repair the problem? What small sacrifices can we individually take today to preserve a healthier and safer nation, state, and neighborhood tomorrow? We cannot exhale once again, make excuses, and accept these tragic realities as the status quo. All lovely thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's like saying I got my, my, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Yeah. I can't stand that, by the way. When, when a congressman or a senator, Ted yeah. Cruz, President Trump, Ex-President Trump, he's not a president anymore. Oh, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims. Abbott, when they're the ones who... who Have the power to change stuff. That's correct. And when 70% of, of U.S. citizens and voters say it's they want sensible gun laws, and 3% of Americans own more than 50% of the guns in America... Mm -hmm. Jeez. Think about the small amount of people who are controlling everybody else. 3% of Americans own more than 50% of the guns in mm. America. And Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey <laughs> says we need, how do we repair the problem? It's simple. Let's start treating guns. I know how to repair the problem. Start treating guns like we treat cars. I agree. Have a license. Have required training. Have an age. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you can't drink till 21, then you shouldn't have a gun till you're 21. Limit the number of guns per person. Yeah. Limit guns for what a human being in a private home would need it for, their own personal protection. You don't need an AK-47 or an AK-57 or whatever the heck they're called for your personal mm -hmm. protection. Mm -hmm. You don't need it for, you don't need it for, for hunting. They call them assault rifles for a reason because you are assaulting somebody. Mm -hmm. They don't call them protection rifles. They don't call them hunting rifles. They are assault. Assault means that you are attacking somebody. It's not necessary. So that's the first thing you can do. Do those three sensible things. It's not going to eliminate gun violence. Just like we still have car accidents and just like people still get killed on the road. But it's a good start to reduce where we are now. Where I don't have to wake up Monday morning and read over the weekend. By the way, we had 14 more mass, mass shootings. shootings. Isn't tea supposed to be fun? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, at least four musicians who are set to sing in a concert at this weekend's annual convention of the National Rifle Association canceled their performance. Canceled. Larry Stewart, Don McLean, known for his 1970s hit American Pie. Hmm. You know that song? Yep. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the eleven, to the eleven was dry. Yep. And good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. That's why. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who Larry Stewart is. Larry Gatlin. He's a. I think Larry Gatlin's a country singer. I wouldn't know his songs. Uh, you know any country songs? No. You don't seem like a country. Nah, I'm not really a country guy. But like yeah. he, yeah, he looks yeah. like one. <laughs> I only knew one of them. Top Gun. Yeah. Did you see it? I didn't yet. Everybody, Have you seen it? no, but everybody wants to go see it. Yeah, they're doing. They're firing yeah, up the. It set. It office. set a new record. Um, that including overseas ticket sales, three hundred million dollars yeah. opening weekend. They say they say movies are back now. First big, first big movie since the pandemic. Yeah. Well, this is a classic though. You like, know, that because they just redid. You, you never, you didn't, you know. I I didn't believe honestly that people were going to go back to the movie theaters. Yeah, it, it Did was. you believe? Even I said, you know what? People got used to watching movies at home. Yeah, they because were I mean, they're releasing yeah, movies they were at, releasing home. Home at home. I said, what do you need to That's go to not, a movie? No. You know, people people go buy all like their fancy TVs now with like their yeah. surround sound. I mean, I have a fancy TV with surround sound, but it's also like that that feeling of going to a theater. It's super dark. You go and get your snacks, even though they're overpriced, and just I don't know. It's because it's an experience. Yeah, and then like you know when you used to do it when you're younger, so yeah. you kind of feel that nostalgia. Right. Right. feeling and it's an experience exactly what you said so. i didn't think people i didn't think people were gonna i knew that they were there's so right. many movie lovers out there so by the way it's the biggest opening since 2007 pirates of the caribbean at yeah. world's end yeah that's huge johnny that's... depp being in the news for two different reasons right this week. right <laughs> <laughs> Both not too good. <laughs> well, well, yeah, because his, his film got overtaken, yeah. <laughs> and, and, the, and apparently he's an abuser, yeah, a drug, a drug abuser, and physical abuser. Yeah, so not too good for. A well, Johnny, this, a uh, lot of people seem to be in his corner. And I'll, yeah. be, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't get it. I saw. Well, I mean, I saw. Some I mean, other, I didn't. Some I didn't watch that, it. I didn't watch it, but I don't get it. What? He's an abuser. Yeah. He's an abuser. I don't care. Well, some some I I don't know if I read it right, but someone who had said they had said that he had abused she came out and said oh no it didn't happen so i don't know what's happening i i believe it happened i believe it happened i'm sure she's not an angel in all of this mm -hmm. but i don't know i feel bad for her no, no. i feel bad I, I mean i feel bad for him too but he's the one who brought this all this whole circus so I feel and he's more, taking the he's taking the shine away from Top Gun. Yeah, no, but, Look, but, but, but in other words, people are like, why do you feel bad for her? Why do you feel because he's the one who brought the circus? She's just a defendant, and she's the abused woman. I feel bad for her. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> well, congratulations to yeah. uh, 
Tom uh, Cruise. And, and I don't know. There was this boxer. He was unable to get a visa for a major fight in Australia. Lightweight champion Devin Haney. His trainer father, Bill Haney, was denied entrance into Australia Ooh. because he had a drug 1992 drug conviction. Um, so that was a big problem. Um, he said, I did some mistakes at 22, 23 years ago. Uh, now his son who is paying for, is paying for it. Um, and he wouldn't be allowed in the U.S. either without a waiver. All right. All right. He could have got a waiver from Australia, but I don't know why he didn't get it. Uh, what do you think of these celebrity endorsements? The NFTs are, went down the drain. You know these non fungible tokens, right? You 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 get the whole non fungible token thing. No, you buy I don't. you can buy an original of a digital work, an original digital work. Yeah. So you have the original of it. Any other picture is not original. Mm -hmm. Like you would have an original Picasso. Right, but and like all the, the posters of the Picasso are not. Right. So it's a way. It's a way of of making something original on the internet mm -hmm. and and they their you know prices went way up and then with inflation the war in ukraine stock market crash they also crashed mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of celebrities are now being accused of yeah, hype, hi, of, of a lot of hype it. because they were endorsing it they were so. endorsing it they were hyping it and 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 a lot of people lost money yeah well that's why you can't just yeah you know go just because the celebrities talking about it just because it's one of your favorites you can't just be going out there to because at the end of the day they're gonna do what's best for them yeah now uh when floyd mayweather i'll give you an example when floyd mayweather started touting an obscure nft project on twitter this year um a guy by the name of tyler jumped at the investment opportunity Mayweather, a boxing legend, had already served as Tyler's biggest inspiration in martial arts training. And Tyler was also looking for investment opportunities and figured uh, Floyd Mayweather, who's boxing champion, mm -hmm. uh, and he called himself the money man, was worth listening to. And See? in a video, Mayweather dressed in a Louis Vuitton vest with a diamond bracelet, necklace, a gold watch, said, what I need everybody to do right now is go get a board bunny NFT. You're hearing it from the one and only Floyd, make that money Mayweather. See what I'm saying? Right. And then this guy Tyler bought it, and now it's worth the value of my glasses. <laughs> Nothing. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Like Don Harriet said, have a mind of your own. Y'all yeah. need to do research. You know, not just... You know, but you want to you know, know what? You're going to believe Floyd Mayweather? But you want to know what? If, if you really believe in the investment, and she's right. If you really believe in the investment, then you can't look at investments on day to day. You can't look at your stocks course, day to yeah. day. You, stocks go up, stocks go down. You look at it year to year, right. two years to two years. Mm -hmm. So maybe in a year, this all comes back. You don't know if you don't believe if you if you if you if you're buy if you're buying the product. Yeah. If you're buying the hype, then you're out. Yeah. And then you got to do your research for it. Yeah. All right, that's our tea, yo yo. All right. All right, and in this edition of TikTok Time, I answer the question about how immigrants. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.